morning. We are having a world of uh, wardrobe issues on set at the moment. Yeah. I'm dealing with a jacket that uh, someone came up to me during the break and said, you need to put your jacket down. You're looking like a doctor. <laughs> I don't know what right. that means. It means I can write humane letters, perhaps. <laughs> I love doctors. Well, thank you. I love them. I, in fact, I want to introduce you to another doctor. <laughs> I'm out. Hang on, I've heard, of, I've heard of doctors and nurses, but not doctors and doctors. That's very. Yeah. That's very. That's how and we Kevin's do it in wearing the greatest yeah. pair of shorts. These are not. These are not legs. technically uh, shorts. They're called jorts, jean shorts. Yeah. Uh, some people call them shants, shorts and pants. <laughs> Every chick sees me in these, goes, I shant. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's time for three leading questions. Exactly. Uh, we have sort of learnt over the last couple of weeks that we have been maybe going a bit too hard with these, so okay. we're going to ease up and not get too personal this okay. week. Anna, what's the biggest thing you've ever put in your mouth? Mm. <laughs> oh, <that is laughs> so mortifying. I was shooting Scary Movie 2 and there was a scene where I inject, like I put a whole pineapple into my mouth. <laughs> Did you really do that? They had this whole prosthetic gear for me. <laughs> wow. I know. I know. Wow. That's so, a claim to fame. Pineapple. <laughs> Daniel, what's the last thing you stole from a child? Ooh. <laughs> Shit. Um, do you not don't steal, steal that. Children. Two and a half <laughs> hours of their time on a Sunday night. <laughs> <That's all stars. laughs> and Kevin, have you ever dipped your pickle in chocolate? Yes, of course. <laughs> Well, the reason for tonight's three leading questions is the L.A. County Fair. I went there this week and discovered that it's the largest outdoor fair in the world, filled with some of the largest people in the world. It's a place where you can go from culinary to coronary like that. <laughs> what are you trying today? The fair special. Uh, are you going to have this with a diet coke? Yes. <laughs> what are you enjoying today? Fried zucchini. What made you choose the deep fried zucchini? Well, we were trying to decide between that and the onion rings, and we thought the zucchini sounded healthier. <laughs> the, deep, the deep fried zucchini is the healthy option. <laughs> I've come to the right place. Are you going to do anything other than eat today? Shop. Eat and shop? Mm -hmm. What about you're not going to go on any of, any of the rides? Oh, no. They I just get them. in the way of eating. <laughs> so why do you think you're one of the biggest nations on earth? Because we eat everything. <laughs> Even the bees are fat in this country. Look at the size of you. What have you been eating? What have you been eating? Is there anything you Americans won't eat? <laughs> I can't think of it, can you? I'm here with uh, one of the vendors today, Chicken Charlie. What have you got on the menu today, Charlie? Well, um, normally people drink Kool-Aid, but today we could eat it. How do you eat Kool-Aid? We fry it. I'm about to eat a deep-fried drink. That's right. Yes. Chicken Charlie. Here we go. Oh, wow. Is it good? You mince! <laughs> Is that like the most popular item you have on your menu? It's one of the most popular items. Um, everyone wants all our fried foods. Fried Oreos, fried Twinkies, we fried everything. Wow, so you can have the heart attack that will actually kill you. No, no, no heart attacks. We, the calories are left in the oil. When you fry, all the fat stays in the oil. So when you eat it, it's the healthiest thing for you. Chicken. Fat free, zero calories. That chicken chocolate. Obviously. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't mean to sound too forward, ma'am, but may I have a bite of your deep fried Oreo? <laughs> You know the best part? Zero calories. <laughs> do I even want to know what that is? Deep fried watermelon. Just such an American thing to do. You've got one of nature's healthy options being fruit. Let's fry the hell out of it. Have you ever tried to deep fried something on your menu that people have just gone, no? Oh, uh, never. <laughs> what about this, uh... Sun visor. Boy, it looks like a perfectly healthy sun visor. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Nice. A 
an everyday household kind of iPod. Look at that. I took this off some kids when they weren't looking. Love it. It's just beef. It's just deep fried beef. Yes. Oh, wow. That looks that, great. That's a good meal. Here's your teddy bear back. <laughs> she loves it. Thank you. Are you going to eat something else afterwards? I'm already full. And I'm only at the tip of it. <laughs> This is it. That's it right here. This is chocolate covered bacon. Ready? Wait a minute. <laughs> ah, my mouth has gone schizo. <laughs> we'll come out looking exactly the same. <laughs> Do you seriously have chocolate covered pickles? <laughs> oh, Look at the size of it. I thought it would be like a thing like that. What am I doing? <laughs> You are a good and kind man, but there is nothing good about that. I saved the best for last. I got you here a chicken breast inside of a donut. It's a jelly, a raspberry filled jelly donut as the bread for this delicious chicken breast. Here. Am I really about to do this? In the name of cross-culture relations. That's right. Here we go. Mm, that tastes like a bad idea. <laughs> Why does that work? That should not work. But you add it together, it's genius, it's Chicken genius. Charlie. Thank you very much. And you know the best part? <laughs> Look at this, zero calories. So if you want to enjoy the best in American cuisine, do not come to the LA County Fair. I'm sweating dough! So wrong. So wrong. So impressive. Thank you. How did you feel after that? Like my body was rejecting an organ. It was awful. <laughs> Have you experienced that kind of food before? Like, it seems like it's this American tradition to go to a county fair and eat bad food on a stick. Of course. <laughs> of course. It is American, right? Uh, yeah, very much so. Now, do you have to worry about uh, what you eat? Like, Anna, in your latest movie, What's Your Number? You spend a lot of the movie in either your underwear or naked. <laughs> And I would feel there's a lot of pressure when you're going to be on the big screen. You oh, want to no, keep yourself true. No. <laughs> no pressure at all, Rove. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's awful. It's, it's terrifying. Um, you spend like three months working with 300 crew members, all these big dudes with their microphones and like, you know, the whole deal. And then you have to be in like see-through panties in front of them. Oh. It's, it's mortifying. I think. And there's a scene where you're playing uh, strip basketball as yeah, well. So when yeah. they shoot scenes like that, you hear the phrase closed set. Is it really like that? No, it just draws more people in. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as like, you put up the signs, like, oh, closed set. And you, right, you guys. Oh. Yeah. It's, You've done it, Dan, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Suddenly, like, everybody has a reason you know, to be there. You know the ridiculous underwear they make you wear? The Merkins. So the Merkins. Yeah. So you, Do you guys call that not yeah, so we. Merkins? So the guys have the cock socks. Okay, yeah, which yeah. Are the, which are the, the flesh-coloured, emasculating sock that goes over... Yeah. The jack, ...the package, and... I, I did a sex scene with, with a girl, with... Thankfully. Um, okay, so you're on top, and then you... What is this? Yeah. You are not bouncing a baby Wait. on your lap! Yeah, it sounds like she's... Hey! This is how we have sex. And then this is how... Oh! Oh, and you threw up on me. But it's oh. choreographed, right? So I'm there... Rolling it, and you're going, well, how does my character climax? You know, because I, I don't want people to think this is how I do it, you know? <laughs> That's so weird, I never yeah. thought about yeah. that. It's a good like, You're like, I'm saving my cum for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give them a fake what one. What other face would you know what to go with? We go, just well, uh, from all the other guys I've seen, I could you channel this <laughs> face. Just, just make one up. What? Give me one. What? <laughs> it, it would be just go crazy, so, uh, right? 
here, here you go. Yeah, here. Yes. Yeah. This is mine. This is mine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, that's okay. That's good. That's good. You can do so. This is... You know the best part? None of that will be taken out of context. No, that's the best no, part. No, no, no. So anyway, you've, you've seen... See you there. And so I'm on top and I'm in, in, into the bit and I look down and there is the cock sock next to the B camera. Oh, no. <laughs> and then what do you, you know, and this is not even close up. And I look down and look, brilliant actress, flaccid cock and balls. <laughs> Hang on, you, your balls can have an erection? <laughs> Imagine flaccid, that, like flaccid just flaccid, flaccid and then your and testicles are like ka-choing. <laughs> that is a gift. What are you two doing up there? Get back down. Uh, there's good naked and bad naked. There is good and naked. And that is bad naked. And flaccid penis thwacking against actress <laughs> is, is not good. But that was, that's my Indian name, flaccid <laughs> penis thwacking against actress. <laughs> Pretend you don't love it. Like every, you've done a lot of nude scenes. Yeah. You've done a lot of photo shoots as yeah. well. Check this one out. If this isn't a natural nude pose, <laughs> I don't know what is. Oh, holy crap! And, Where's uh, my pants? Has anyone said? I'm sitting in the of, you know, when, you're, when you're with the new girlfriend and you're. Uh, <laughs> oh, can I say that? I probably I should be careful. Am I allowed? Yeah. To, you, am I allowed you, to reference? You you can actually. Has yeah. Darren got his self a lady? With a picture uh, like that, I don't see how you couldn't get a lady. Yeah. 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 Yes, I do have a lady. She's. she's I got a few friends in tonight. Really Zoe, have you seen? I'm guessing. I'm guessing you've seen. You've seen that before. I might have Googled, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing of growing up on television, you know. I started when I was 17 and all the shit mistakes you make earlier are all on the internet, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you, life, you've huh? been acting from a, a young age yourself, haven't you, Arna? Yeah. Yeah, from about nine. Um, and I, di I did some early work doing training videos. I did a series of training videos for this, um, for this burger chain called Red Robin. Right. And I was oh. like the... The perfect. What was <laughs> I was like the perfect hostess. So uh -huh. it's like, so they show this to all the employees, right? Mm -hmm. That yeah. that start out. And I was like, so my whole role was like, I would do a whole bit where I'm like, thank you for calling Red Robin. We're here for all your entertainment needs. Whoa. So I put the phone down and I say, here at Red Robin, we always give good phone. <laughs> I would, I would like eat that, that burger. That was their corporate speak. No, it shouldn't be. What? Good phone. <laughs> now, did you know you were always going to, to move into the comedy world as, as a performer? Because your career has taken that turn. Oh, um, it's been so weird. Uh, I was a very serious child, and I, think, I really was. <laughs> you laughed, don't laugh. With your retainer. <laughs> yeah. With your retainer. Like, this whole program is about how weird I am. Uh, Do you have a face where you wore purple gloves a lot? Yes. I was convinced that someone was going to frame me for murder, so I wore gloves for like four months straight until my <laughs> mom was like, those things have become disgusting. You have to take them off. And then I changed to a cape. <laughs> I wish more people could wear capes. Don't you? Yes. I wanted to wear a cape out here today, but Kevin Smith wouldn't let me. Oh, he Kevin Smith. He insisted that I wear this weird mermaid dress. <laughs> it's a great mermaid dress. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, coming up, good Lord, it's the random question hat. And people who talk funny.